Hello CS50, I'm George Newman, I'm 18, and I'm from London, England, and for my final project I decided to make a digital version of the popular card game Shed. So I've been playing Shed every day for at least an hour for the past two years with the same group of friends, and to make it more interesting we've invented lots of new custom rules which are all implemented in this online version of Shed that I've made, and it's what I'm going to be covering in this video. Scrolling by on the screen right now are the standard rules of Shed. I'm not going to be covering these in this video, so instead let's move straight on to the special rules. So the first rule is that twos reset the deck. So you can see here that player two played a two on a jack of hearts, and then player one has to play anything higher than a two, which is any card. Threes, sevens, and specials are transparent. So as you can see here, player one played a three on a king of spades, and player two, although the highest card on the pile is a three of spades, they must still play higher than a king of spades. Same applies to sevens. Here, player four plays a seven on a joker, and player five must play higher than a joker, despite the fact that seven is the first card on the pile. They could not do this and had to pick up. Eights skip the next player. So here you can see that player three played an eight, player four got skipped, and then it moved on to player five. The effects of the eight can also be stacked if multiple of them are played at once. So here you can see that two cards of value eight are played, so it skips two people. Player one, player zero, and then player four is the next to play. As you might have seen on the last page, I've also added the ability to play multiple cards of the same value at the same time, like you can see here. And also, if you have a card of the same value in your face-ups that you do in your hands, then you can also play that in the same go as well. The last thing to say on this note is the method of playing two cards of the same value also works in your face-ups. Typically in Shed you have to play higher than the value of the card on the top of the deck, but nines reverse this. So player five plays a nine, and then instead of having to play cards higher than a nine, which would be these cards here, player four has to play cards lower than a nine, which are these cards here. You can tell which cards can and can't be played by whether or not they've got an X or their value in front of them. Tens burn the pile and give the person who played them an extra turn. So here you can see player zero plays a ten. The pile is burned, getting a clear pile, as you can see here by the special special, and then player zero gets another turn in which they play two fives. Another card is the social card, which reverses the direction of play. As you can see, initially the player number is ascending, going four, five, zero, but then player zero plays the social card, which means the player number descends, so then it goes zero, five, four. The last special rule is the rules card, which prevents twos, threes, sevens, and specials from being played on top of it. So as you can see here, player two plays a rules card on a joker, and then instead of being able to play the two and the three, which can typically be played on any other card, they can instead only play the joker because the rules blocks them from playing the two and the three. Well that's been a very speedy summary of all of the special rules that I've implemented in my version of Shed Online. Thank you so much for watching.